Here's a tutorial for triad inversion fingerings for technique level preparatory B. The right hand, play a normal triad, fingers one and three and five, a third or a skip apart. Then practice opening your hand the interval of a sixth. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you can memorize to open your hand to sixth with your eyes closed. That's important, with your eyes closed. Open your hand to sixth, then you're ready to do triad inversions. Open your hand to sixth on any white keys, and then let your main fingers rest one finger on each key with a gap between your thumb and your index finger. So we start off with a sixth, and then let your fingers rest, one on each key, and play finger two with the right hand. Let's pretend we're doing D minor. So D and F and A. That's the regular way, one finger on each key. To do the inversion, move your finger one to F and open up a sixth, and then play finger two on A. Okay, let's review. D, F, A is regular, or root position. To invert it, the D comes over to this side. So F becomes the new place that the thumb goes. Open your hand to sixth, and play the middle note with finger two. To invert it again, F goes from the left over to the right. So your thumb moves to A. Open your hand to sixth, so finger five is on F. And then, if each of your fingers is on a key, play finger three. So that's on D now. And then you can invert it or flip it again to regular. Triad inversions, they change the order of the three keys. So D, F, A, there's one letter in between. If the D comes over here, it's F, A, D. If the F comes over here, it's A, D, F. So we're just changing the order of the keys. Let's go over it again. So D, F, A, regular, one, three, five. To invert it, move your thumb to the next chord tone, the next key that's involved, which in this case is F. Open your hand to sixth. And then with finger two, play the middle note. To invert it again, F goes over to the right. So your thumb moves to the next chord tone, which is A. Open your hand to sixth. Rest your fingers each on a key with a gap between your finger one and finger two, and finger three plays this time. Invert it again, and you get to regular. So invert means to flip upside down, and when you invert, the key on the left becomes the key on the right. There are two inversions. There's regular, or root position. The first inversion, which has a larger interval between the middle and the top note on the page, and a second inversion, which has a larger interval between the bottom and middle note on the page. That's our example, D minor. Now if the left hand does the example, you have D, now I'll try here, you have D and F and A, and one empty key in between each finger. So these intervals are thirds, because D, E, F is three letters, F, G, A has three letters. To invert it, D comes over to the right. So move your finger five to the next chord tone, which is F. Now, of course, you need to practice opening your hand a sixth with your eyes closed. So here's a fifth, which we did before. But to open your hand a sixth, your thumb opens up just a little bit more. Okay? To invert, move your finger five to F, open your hand a sixth, and then rest your fingers each on a key. And there's a gap between your finger one and your finger two. This time, for first inversion, left hand uses finger three. For right hand, it was finger two, but for left hand, it's finger three, because the hands are mirror opposites. So regular, but first inversion, use finger three. Second inversion, the pinky goes to the next chord tone, which is A. Open your hand to sixth, so your thumb goes to F. 
and play the finger two. That's second inversion. Here's all of them again. And then regular again. That's our example D minor. You don't have to play D minor for this level, but it's still a good one to know. For this level, you have three triads. C major, G major, A minor. Let's do those. C major, here's regular. To invert it, the C goes to the right. So move your thumb to the next chord tone. Open your hand to sixth and play finger two. And G. Invert, move your thumb to G. Open your hand to sixth and play finger three in the middle. And then invert again and we're back to regular. Left hand, C, E, G. To invert, move your finger five to the next chord tone, E. Open your hand to sixth. And then play finger three. That's first inversion. Middle and top, larger interval of a fourth. Invert again, move your finger five to G. Open your hand to sixth. And play finger two this time, because we're only playing C's and E's and G's. If you know Moana, it's uh, You're Welcome. If you know NBC, it's the theme music for NBC. Again, invert, and we're back to regular. For G major, G, B, D. To invert, move finger five to the next chord tone, B. Open your hand to sixth, and play finger three in the middle. To invert, again, move your finger five to D. Open your hand to sixth, and play finger two. Invert again, back to regular. Right hand, G, B, D. Move your thumb to the next chord tone, open your hand, and play finger two in the middle. Move to the next chord tone, open your hand to sixth, and play finger three in the middle. And then back to regular. For A minor, regular, A, C, E. Invert, move your pinky to the next chord tone, open your hand to sixth, play finger three in the middle. For right hand, it's finger two in the middle. Right, because they're opposites. Invert again, move finger five to the next chord tone, open your hand to sixth, play finger two in the middle. For right hand, it's finger three in the middle, because they're opposites. And then invert again. One way to practice is you can practice doing the triad on every one key. That's a regular. position. First inversion, open your hand to sixth, play finger two. Or broken. Of course you're going to start slower than that. I just don't have all day. second inversion. Okay, that's one way to practice. Remember to memorize what a sixth feels like to open your hand. Okay, and then just memorize if right hand's doing finger two or three in the middle, if left hand's doing finger three or two in the middle. And there you go. Triad inversions.